Hi, my name is Shu Hailin. Today I'm going to talk about a, de a, a debate. First of all, uh, today we are going to talk about what the government should play in setting economic policy. And well, now I'm I would like to introduce two of the most famous philosophers of econ economic in the world at all time. The first person is Adam Smith on the left side. Uh, he's an American, and uh, he's the father of modern economic. And the second person is the Karl Marx. Uh, he's a German, and he's the father of communism. In Adam Smith's perspective, he thinks that the government expected to play a relatively minor role in the process of regulating the uh, economy. And the invisible hand of the market will automatically control the supply and demand. But Karl Marx said uh, he disagreed with, with him. He thinks that the free market may lead to the exploitation of the working classes, uh, just like the picture on the left side rep uh, pre present. Adam Smith said the uh, bourgeoisie are not the only people who benefit from the market. It's all about the competition. Um, if the competition exists in our society, then the producer are willing to uh, create a higher quality of their product and sell them with a relatively fair price to get a profit. But Karl Marx thinks that it is an unequal treatment. The competition also results in uh, unequal treatment of people. The playing field is important. The people who have uh, more resources, they will have better chance to succeed. Adam Smith uh, said that we have to understand the compassion of the working class. Uh, but you know, some of the uh, business and economic activities, the government are taking control, so it's a hinder to innovation. And for the economic activities, uh, it's going to be inefficient. Then there's a question by Karl Marx. He said, he asked that, isn't it the ultimate purpose of any economy to serve the demands of society as a whole? Then Adam Smith answered that uh, economy should serve the purpose of the society. But the free market is still the uh, free market competition is still the best way. Then Karl Marx uh, asked uh, ask a question. But at what price, Mr. Smith? People who are already strong and wealthy are stand to benefit from free markets. Rest of us are left to suffer. And there's a picture that shows the difference between a rich guy and a poor woman. The rich guy is wearing a, a smart suit and has a lot of money. But a poor woman only uh, but, but a poor woman is within a shabby clothing and only have few coins. The anatomy thinks that everyone stands to the benefit from a free market. And the the first is the it will lead to economic growth. And then it will provide more opportunities of the employment. And uh, as a result, the people in the society will have higher earnings and their life quality will be improved. But Karl Marx says that, well, he, uh, he afraid that the free market won't, uh, won't work that way. Uh, the free market is not only the answer of all of the world's monetary woes. The, poor get, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. So which camp do you find yourself in? I I'm willing to talk about it with, uh, talk about it with you. Uh, that's all my presentation about the debate today, and thank you for listening.